Hello everyone. I am Dr. Burkaritas. We continue with herbal treatment for erectile dysfunction. As we know, on social media and everywhere else, too many plants are said to be good for sexuality. Of course, our task is to investigate them one by one. I will pass on five plants to you. Because I also prefer to use them in my personal daily practice. The biggest reason why I am telling you about them is that there are clinical studies of these plants. For example, maca is a cruciferous family. It has a clinical study, ginseng which is very widely used among the people. It is painax. Painax actually means what is good for everything. This is especially called painax in the Korean form. We need to pay attention to this. You also need to use the red one. There are white, yellow and red. This is according to its age. If the ginseng is dried for more than 6 years, it is called red. We need to pay attention to this. So we need to use red. Tribulus, which is the most serious clinical trial, belongs to the tribulus plant. Again, Ginkota also has a clinical trial. There are no clinical studies of epimedium containing Icarin, but I'm going to talk about why I'm putting it here. Let's start with the spade, for example. There is a very good study on maca radish published in Androgy magazine in 2009. It is a very serious study. According to this result, it can cause an increase in both erection and sexual desire in those with mild erectile dysfunction. Ginseng, which you can see here, is red ginseng, which we have to pay attention to again. There are so many studies on this. Now, a study has been conducted in which those studies are also evaluated. This is a situation that we see a lot in our urology practice. If a subject is of great interest, a study is carried out to collect all of them. Ginseng also has it. It is recommended to use ginseng, especially for people with psychological erectile dysfunction. I said in Tribulus that the most serious work is done with this. When used together with the algae plant, an improvement was achieved on both erection, sexual desire and ejaculation. It is seen that improvement is achieved in patients with mild degrees. There is a product here called Tradamix. This product is produced in Italy. We don't have turkey yet. He did not come to Turkey. That's why I put it here. Normally, I don't put anything so that there is no advertisement, but I put this because it is not available in Turkey. It is known to be very effective in patients with mild erectile dysfunction. Ginkgo is also known. Here, especially in patients who use antidepressant drugs, we know that their erection and sexual desire are low. These patients can especially use ginkgo. I said I put epimedium here even though it doesn't have a clinical trial. There's a reason for that. The icarine substance in epimedium is our sildenafil citrate, that is, the first drug that provides erection. I mentioned it before, I don't say its name so as not to advertise, but everyone guesses, as you know, it has an effect like it, but it is 400 times weaker. There are so many animal studies that unfortunately there are no clinical studies. Perhaps it has not been addressed because it acts like a drug, or it may not have been clinically studied because icranin is a very expensive substance, so it is quite costly to obtain a 100% pure icrane. Well, we're going to use those. What will be the doses of these? These doses are quite significant. Because if you go and take tribules, 100 mg does not work. It is necessary to use almost all of them for at least 3 months and it is necessary to use them in accordance with the doses here. For example, you need to use the tribule at 450 mg per day. I'll talk about why this is important a little later. Now I have some suggestions. One of them is that we should not use them for therapeutic purposes. We need to use it as a contribution to treatment. My second suggestion is that there are no scientific studies on their combined use. So you're responsible for what happens to you when you mix all of them and take these doses. I don't recommend it. The biggest thing we need to do when buying them is this. I do not recommend buying from places that promise hardening. Because we know that they put some chemicals in them. My advice is this, type maca capsule or ginseng capsule into Google. There are these products of very serious companies here. And pay attention to one more thing. Try to keep this dose while taking. 
So if the product is 400 mg capsules, then you need to take two of this per day, and you need to use it for at least 12 weeks. My advice is to use these products one by one, not all together. That is, use maca for three months. If it didn't happen or didn't feel very good to you, you can use tribules for three months. There are products like this on the internet. If you want a little bit of everything, but a little, it doesn't work. There is no cognitive basis for this. That's why there is, for example, ginseng root in this product, but how many milligrams are there? Let's say you have 50 milligrams. Is it happening? You need to use at least 800 milligrams. Not. So, if you do a little bit of all of that, it doesn't work. I recommend using them one by one. Finally, when using these products, do not rely on them to improve your erection. Go to the doctor. Find the cause of your erectile dysfunction. Let the treatment begin. After that, you can use these products one by one as much as you want, as you wish, in these doses with peace of mind. Thank you.